Hello world! Have you ever heard about ENIAC or Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer? Well, it's the great great grandfather of whatever device that you're currently watching this video on. In today's video, I'll be sharing some interesting facts about this computer. Fact number one, it was the first programmable electronic digital computer. This giant computer occupied more than a thousand square feet and weighed around 30 tons, which is approximately 28,000 kgs. It contained about 18,000 vacuum tubes, 7,000 diodes, 70,000 resistors, 10,000 capacitors, and 6,000 switches. It could perform 5,000 additions per second, which brings us to fact number two. ENIAC had done more calculations over the 10 years period that it was in operation than all of the humanity had until that time. But did you know that a group of six remarkable women was responsible for the operation of this computer? So what's the big deal about programming ENIAC? Well, ENIAC wasn't controlled by a program stored in memory, as is true with modern day processors. Instead, programmers had to configure and interconnect ENIAC's components as per the required functionality. Their task was to understand the complex circuitry, write programs, implement them with extreme precision by manually connecting cables and adjusting switches, debugging their own code as well as hardware failures. And you know what debugging a program meant? It meant climbing inside the machine to find faulty connections. Do you know why these women were selected to operate this complicated machine? Because of their exceptional mathematical capabilities. Yet, you know what, they never got any timely recognition for their groundbreaking work. Finally, around 1980, Kathy Clemen, a Harvard undergraduate and a female programmer, came to know about their contribution and shared it with the rest of the world. So from 1997 onwards, almost after six decades later, they started receiving recognition and awards for their work. Better late than never. Now, you know, I wanted to share this information with you all for two specific reasons. The first reason is pretty simple. Look at the kind of progress that we've made. Like, this was the first computer which was used for scientific computing. It was used in World War. Nobody was thinking about general purpose computers at that time. And today, we have these handheld devices, mobile phones, laptops, whatnot, right? So this progress wasn't automatic. There's a lot of human effort which is responsible for this kind of technological progress. So we must understand and appreciate that fact. By the way, this is what ENIAC would look like today. It can fit on a single chip. And the second reason is pretty straightforward. I am sure you must have never heard about these six women programmers. And we know the difference in percentages of men and women in this field. It's pretty disappointing, right? So I hope that this will serve as a source of inspiration for not only the current generation of female programmers, but also the next generation. And not only women, in fact, men as well. If you like this video, then do drop a like, share it with as many women as well as men as possible, and subscribe to the channel. With that said, I'll see you in the next one. Bye world!